and Buwan. So we're outside in my garden. If you can hear like coughing or anything, my dog is there and I don't know what he's doing. As you can see by the title, it's called Let's Talk About Road Trip Drama. This is not us slagging off road trip. We're still very much like road trip. Yeah. We're just addressing all the drama that's happened recently and giving you our thoughts and feelings about it if that's okay if it's not you don't have to watch the video turn off you're gonna get offended <laughs> so like yeah to get offended about. no and i'm gonna insert some little clips and things that i've got from the drama so it's more visually pleasing and you can see what i'm talking about if you don't know if you don't have twitter or anything so first thing we're going to talk about is something very recent which is where <laughs> you're like trying not to laugh where road trip went to poland and in their meet and greet jack and rye <laughs> it was a bit of fluff it's fine <laughs> vaped in a meet and greet personally i don't think it's like an issue they don't they didn't do it like maliciously they did it as a joke they have apologized i've got a video of them doing it i'll put it in now also got a clip of Jack and Andy where they're like apologising for what happened. Let's just take this as a lesson and move on. We thought it'd be funny. It wasn't funny. We know that now. We weren't deliberately rude either. It was, you know... Yeah, this wasn't... It wasn't an attempt to be rude. We thought people would, would find it very funny. And but again... Like a lot of things that sometimes we do. Lack of judgement. Mm, lack then, of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exa that's exactly what it was. It was literally a... Um, it was a... It was a bad decision. Yeah, and we're sorry if it offended anyone, and it will make sure that we do our best for it to not happen again. Do you want to say anything about the whole situation? I think it just got blown out of proportion. Like, like it me. always has. With other fandoms. Yeah. No names. I've no, no. I saw lots of things on Twitter where it was about other fandoms commenting about it. I haven't actually seen people within the road trip fandom, like, be like, Ugh, it's wrong. Like, I think, like, road trip fans know what road trips like. Yeah. Like, like, it's just a vape at the end of the day. I, I, like, I would have been more annoyed, like, if the girl had reacted badly and if they did it, like, on purpose. They shouldn't have done it, but... No, they shouldn't have done it, but they did it, and what can you do? No point, no point complaining about it because it's already happened. You can't be like, I'm going to rewind time and go to Poland and be like, don't smoke. And knock them out. Don't smoke, <laughs> kid. It's bad for you. It's not smoke, it's water. It's vape. vape. <laughs> yeah, at least it wasn't like cigarette smoke. That's worse. Next topic, swiftly moving on. This was... Ages ago. Well not, ages well, not ago. ages ago. It was a while ago, but it was when Andy was talking about lanes. Now, Andy said that he thinks that nobody should have a lane and everybody should like everybody equally. I do understand where he's coming from. However, I feel like they've been... I think all boy bands and all bands are always like you always have a favourite like you always click for somebody more. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was subtle. Um, and it's like how I've said, it's, this is a weird example, but we'll deal with it. I've said, it, it's like having your favourite food. You can't like a chocolate bar the same as like something healthy, can you? Yeah. Like, you just like it more and you can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say anything on this topic. <laughs> so yeah, I don't disagree, but I don't agree. Like, I understand that we should like love them all equally anyway like f i feel like we do have our favorites but we do generally like the rest of the band i feel like it is an issue when like you have a favorite and you like hate everybody else mm -hmm. so if i was like like for a while people thought i'd just like road trip because of jack but i generally like all of them individually but jack's just like the one i'm closer to yeah. <laughs> Like, nothing against any of the other boys. I like them. They're great. I just get on with Jack a lot. I have another topic involving Andy. 
um, about, <laughs> well, yeah, involving Andy, where people kept calling him. This I don't, <laughs> yeah, this I don't agree with. Like, I don't know why you would want to call him. Like, <laughs> I'm just if I now. was like doing my day to day life and I kept on getting calls, I would be annoyed. Not that I answer no number or it's like no call or ID, but it's just annoying and like even something called privacy. Yeah, that's his personal number. I don't even know how people get their numbers, honestly. I don't get it. Fair enough if they. I don't know, give you consent to have the number. I don't know what they do with their numbers, but I just don't think you should call them because... There's other ways of contacting them. Yeah, there's other <laughs> ways. There's like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. TikTok. <laughs> People message on Love TikTok. Love TikTok. There's also a bit about international roadies. We always see, like ever since like 2016 anyway, the international roadies are like, oh, why are Rocha doing another UK tour and not come to the like Europe? I actually saw a tweet today by Rocha Updates that I follow and they said maybe it's better if you, if you have like an event in your city, like the one in Poland, it was like Young Star yeah. something, <laughs> then it's better to see if they could invite Roachip to that because then Roachip can come to your country rather than trying to get Roachip to do a world tour because that costs a lot of money. There's like f more than five people involved, like as well as the band. So it's like harder for like travel and time and venues. I don't even think half the places people suggest they would know where a venue is. It's just a bit difficult because most... Depends, like how many fans they have. Yeah, because yeah, they don't want to... Oh, we're going to, I don't know, a place. Germany. Germany and it's then they've got fans no fans there. there. Yeah, they do have <laughs> quite a lot of fans there. Just for an example. They don't want to go there and then be like, oh, nobody's here. Just one person. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so yeah, just I know they keep saying that they'll come to like different places soon, but I think it's not up to them as well. It's up to them. Yeah, it probably yeah, it probably isn't like their choice on where they go. And plus, they do a UK tour because they live here. They've been to all the venues before. <laughs> Why did you laugh? They do. <laughs> it's just like familiar and they can they know like availabilities for the venues and it's easy to contact also there's like there must be a language barrier somewhere mm. i don't think they're all fluent in every single language so i would struggle with that too if i was trying to book a venue for a Whoa. different country <laughs> katie's getting attacked by flies the last one where's blair gone blair where, <laughs> where are have you? you gone i really like the days where we used to go to road trip or to the flat and that oh i also miss the flat so much but that's a different story <laughs> on cardigan close day. series is a great series you should go watch it on cardigan close like when blair used to go to most of road trips shows i get it that he's probably busy and i also get it that he's with harvey and harvey's only like got one person and Rochick can kind of like handle themselves. I also do like that new guy. Is there a strict um, employment requirement that has, you have to have a bald head? <laughs> because their new guy, I don't know what his name is. He was at Summer and City. Spike, Blair, Darren. And that Spike, other guy. Spike. Oh yeah. Spike was to do with yeah, him. Spike, I think Spike was. Um, is Wiggy bald? No, I don't think Wiggy's bold. <laughs> we just want to know where Blair is. Actually, Blair Blair, Blair was at the last tour, don't get me wrong. I think he was only there for uh, one day. He stood next he to He stood me. next to Katie. Besties. Katie's like, Blair. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just like to see Blair more. I actually... I'd... Blair's actually lovely, to be fair. Yeah, he's actually really nice. Remember like thing you said to me? When you're feeling down, remember pop stars have toilet roll or something yeah like pop stars pop stars she used bog roll too yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's it really we ended on a high because blair's not really an issue for us other than sometimes we wish he was more involved with road trip but like we can't be like blair what do this do? <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video hope i didn't offend anyone with anything i said <laughs> sometimes i go on a little and bit so of a I'm ramble sat here quiet <laughs> yeah katie's I just because i'm like blah blah blah, blah. 
And anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Give a big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want us to talk about any of the subjects to do with road trip, apart from personal life and relationships, because um, we don't look into we that. Like care. we don't, we don't really care. They can do what they want. They're grown men. Um, <laughs> they are men. Little <laughs> boys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon. There'll be road trip vlogs and United Five vlogs. Yeah. Then there's a hole between for you in the dark. You should know your beauty.